Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. For those who do not know me yet, I am Donabella. For now, I am going to show you on how to make an organic solution which will serve as pesticide, insecticide, molluscicide for golden snail, antibacteria, antimicrobes, foliar, and root fertilizer. We will make a little amount only for the sake of demonstration, but we can make also bigger amount just by estimating the ratio of our ingredients. Uh, as per my observation, with the, I mean the more concentrated the solution that we are going to do, the better the effect to the growth of the plant. Let's know first the sources of our ingredients before we go to demonstration proper. The first ingredient of our organic solution will be an extract from the leaves of this neem tree with a scientific name of Asadiracta indica. It has a potential source of organic manure and contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The second ingredient is the Hagonoi leaves, also known as Siam weed. It has antimicrobial property, antimyobacterial and organic molluscicide for golden snail, and also insecticide and fertilizer. The third ingredient is the Kakawati leaves, also known as Mexican lila, with a scientific name of Glumicidia sepium, locally known as cacahuate or Madridi cacao, and its extract uh, is, was proven by researchers as an effective pesticide, bioorganic fertilizer, antifungus, termite, and bed bug neutralizer, and rich in nitrogen. There were al there were also researchers who proved that its extract effectively eliminated rice weevils, rice bugs, and worms in rice fields. Our last ingredient is the fruit of this hot pepper, which has a scientific name of capsicum anoom. It is known as rich in vitamin C and has antimicrobial property. Okay, um, before I uh, show you, on how to make an organic solution I will first introduce the things that we are going to use first uh, we must have this uh, handful of neem tree as a, one of our ingredients then uh, a handful of kakawati leaves a handful of hagonoi leaves and also a handful of um, chili. Uh, chili, hot chili. Okay. We will use also this uh, chopping board, this uh, chopping knife. This we know to hold the things or the ingredients that we are going to chop. And then these two basin to be used for soaking our um, organic solution. Or organic materials and the last is a bucket of water to be used for soaking okay now we will proceed to the chopping of our um, organic materials we will do first this uh, hot chili because it is small okay Hmm? 
Okay, we will follow now chopping of the hagunoy, uh, kakawati, and neem tree leaves. Okay, we will uh, uh, cut into small pieces so that the juice or the extract will be better. chopping uh, into small pieces we are now going to soak in a basin okay we will pour water Just enough to cover the materials. Then we will cover we will cover this with um, base another basin so that the nitrogen will not go away with the air. Finished soaking overnight our chopped organic materials. Now we will proceed to straining. But uh, we must use this strainer and a funnel and also a bottle to be filled by our strained solution. And I will use this cloth to strain very well our organic uh, solution so that our sprayer will not clog if we are going to spray it on the leaves of our plants. Okay, we will go now to straining our uh, organic materials. Okay, so our solution is very fine. Okay, we have now very fine strained uh, solution. We will now transfer to a bottle with um, label. Okay. We will cover this with a cup, then um, we can use this immediately after uh, straining, but uh, we can stay this for a matter of uh, say one month or two months. And uh, sharing my own experience of stacking uh, the first solution that I made, it when I check after two months, what is good is that the odor did not turn into bad smell. Instead, it smelled like fresh and mental. How to use this organic solution? We may spray on the leaves of the plants as a foliar fertilizer, fungicide, pesticide, insecticide. And according to researchers, 
Spraying time should be from 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning and 5 to 6 o'clock in the afternoon because these times worms and pests are coming out from the leaves of the plants. However, applying the solution under the extreme heat of the sun will reduce effective, its effectiveness because pests hide from the heat of the sun. We may also power the solution on the root area of the plants. It is also best to mix with marketing soil as root uh, in enhancer, fungicide, pesticide, and pesticide. It is also best to mix it with the planting soil for better plant vegetation. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like if you like my video and subscribe and um, also share to others especially uh, for those you think uh, our um, video for this time will help them especially for the gardeners and the farmers and uh, please also leave your comment so please uh, always take care God bless and See you on my next video. Bye-bye.